might be what are we gonna say the fifth vlog if they won y'all a little bright that's better i guess and i'm a little yellow but it's cool real quick it's really late right well, not late it's just dark i let me come say hi to y'all because i haven't been posting i'm gonna see if i gonna do vlogmas we don't know but i at least wanted to show y'all my decor this year that i have so far For those of you who are new here, my name is Tiana Brene. Welcome to my channel. What y'all want to know about me? I'm 31. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have one child. Anywho, <laughs> I want to do like a little fake Christmas decor haul for y'all of stuff I have so far. All right, so this is my dining table. I showed y'all this runner last year when I got it for last Christmas. It's the, it's from Amazon. It's the, what is it? Artoid brand, A-R-T-O-I-D, I think. Anyway, that's where I got this from. I love this table runner. Ignore that cord. That's my computer cord. It's a very like, it's not quite white. It's like a cream. It's showing up wider on camera than it is, but I love it. These are also from Amazon. They're little candy jars or cookie jars. So that you're going to put in them. I like to put candy in them. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I forgot I had these. <laughs> so I didn't buy candy when I bought like new Christmas decor. But I'm gonna put some candy in. And my son keeps asking me, Mommy, where's the chocolate? I gotta put something in there. But for now, they're just on the table. All right, this year I hung our stockings from our bookshelf. Y'all know last year I hung them from our bar cabinet, but I moved the bar cabinet so it couldn't hang over where the bar cabinet is anymore. This is just a curtain rod um, that you would put on your wall. And it came with the wall hooks and everything. And because I have like a bookshelf with open sides, it fits over here perfectly. There's nothing in our stockings yet. But our bookshelf is sturdy enough to where it's not going anywhere. So when I put like our few things in it that I like to put in it, it'll hold up just fine. So yeah, that's just a curtain rod. It had attachments like cute little design decor pieces on the ends. Andre walked into it. <laughs> well, both of us have been walking into it, but he walked into it the other day and it finally broke. Me and him both, as we turned this corner, have been bumping it. So this one broke. So I just threw both away. It wasn't a big deal. I just needed the ride anyway. But yeah. And it's like this nice bronze color. So it matches perfectly. I do think that I want to change these stickers because Julian doesn't realize that this is the curse of J. He thinks this is a G and he thinks this T is a J, <laughs> which makes sense, but that's not what it is. So just to tone down the confusion for him, I may change that. I haven't decided yet. Okay. This is where the bar was sitting last year. Now there's this entryway table over here. Our keys, are supposed, our keys are what's supposed to be on here, but Julian was moving them too much, so there's no keys on here right now. The camera is always there. Not important. This is another, another table runner, just like the one on the table. Just a different design. It's still the Artoid brand. I just folded it in half. Let me show y'all. I used tape and stuck the sides together to keep it from like separating too much and looking crazy. But it's just the same width as the one on the dining table. This little countdown thing I got from Dollar Tree in the $3 section. What I will say is you really can only use it once you get to the month of December. If you use it too early, the numbers aren't gonna match up the way you need them to. <clears throat> and then this box, is our little mailbox for Santa. So it just says letters to Santa on the front. I made it myself. A few years ago, my mom got me this Steve Madden hat and scarf set. And it came in this box. I'll show y'all the back. It came in this white box. like It was like a shoe box, basically. And so I kept the box. I just didn't throw it away. This year, I decided to make Julian a little mailbox to put like Santa letters in. So I wrapped it in some of the gift wrap, the Christmas paper that we already had from last year. 
Um, this is some ribbon that I just hot glued and cut and opening in the box with a straight edge knife or whatever. Same ribbon I tied around the front just to be cute. This little doily I got in a pack of different size doilies from Dollar Tree. Uh, I got this pack Halloween of 2023 and I have a bunch left so I've just been using them. These letters, I do not remember where I got them from. I have a craft set of stuff. So... I'm always accumulating things. I feel like these letters are from like Michaels, but I've had them for a while. So I'm not 100% sure. But they're like a shiny black. And I feel like I got them from Michaels, but like I said, they're some years old. So yeah, I made it myself. And I just stuck some little paper under here for if Julian wants to write a letter so I don't have to wonder where the paper is. But I'm covering it up because he likes to shred paper. <laughs> Last but not least, this is our new tree. She's tall. She is seven and a half feet tall. I got this tree half off from Target because I broke our freaking Christmas tree the day I put it up. So we got a new one. Um, <sighs> Let's run through some stuff. All the ornaments are the same. I don't have any new ornaments. The only new ornaments I do have are these little clear ones. I made them myself. The balls are from Happy Lobby. I found Inspo on Amazon. And I just didn't want to order the Inspo, honestly. So I made it myself. Everything in here. The little styrofoam snowballs I got from Dollar Tree. The little red cherry blossom thing. Cherries I got from Dollar Tree. It was a little faux plant or pick or whatever. And the greenery is also from that same little cherry or cranberries. I guess they're cranberries. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. The same little fake plant. The white strings you guys see, once again, I always have random crafting pieces. So I had a rope of like fur, like faux fur, <laughs> that I have had since I did my sister-in-law's graduation cap when she graduated from high school a year, a few years ago. What? Dang, how long ago was this now? Child made four years ago. It was during COVID. Anyways, so I cut some of that off and stuffed it in there so it looks like, like snow flurries. And I just did them different kinds of ways. This one, I wanted to like it was a branch. So I attached them to some brown cardstock. And so I just did it. Then each one is a little different. There are a bunch of them. This one has more white in it. You know, there's one up there that has something that I can't see. But y'all get the point. So I just judged them up. These red jingle bell ornaments I got from um, Hobby Lobby as well. They're a little scuffed up, but I didn't care. They were cute. I was with my sister. I was like, what you think? And she said, they are cute. So we just were like, the scuffs don't really matter. But yeah, those are the only new ornaments that I have. I'm going to tell you what I don't like about the tree. <clears throat> I wasn't supposed to get a tree this big. I wanted another six foot tree. It did not happen. Unfortunately, they were sold out of the tree that I want because I don't like pre-lit trees. So I wanted the six foot unlit one, but it was sold out. So I had to get the seven and a half foot. And I don't have enough lights. I have two strings of lights. It fits a six foot tree perfectly because that's the size I previously had. It is not enough light for a seven and a half foot tree. As you can see, it's a lot of gapping. And I wish that I had bigger ornaments to make the scale make sense. Everybody who sees it says it's fine. It's just something that I am noticing that I don't like. So it's not a big deal. And then I have Julian's ornaments up front. So <laughs> he was in preschool in that picture. Um, he, They did those at school. And then there's another ornament he did in preschool right there. So I made sure that those were in the front. So if you're sitting right here at the couch in front of the tree, you can see his ornaments. Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm in our little storage closet now. So I want to show y'all the other stuff I have that I just did not put up yet. Is my background crazy? I mean, y'all just see the stuff we keep in the storage closet. It's not a big deal. So this is all stuff that hasn't gone up yet. But as of right now, I'm leaning towards it going up. <laughs> so 
my goal is to do a hot cocoa station in our kitchen. I bought this. Um, did I vlog it? I vlogged it. I don't know if I ever showed y'all. I got this little storage shelving thing to put in our kitchen. And I bought this back in like October, maybe. And the plan then was, we're going to make a perfect hot cocoa, hot cocoa station. So, I think all this stuff is from Dollar Tree. I'm going to show it to y'all so that y'all can see what my goal is. Tentatively, potentially, whatever. I think this stuff is from Dollar Tree. Let's see what's in here. Oh, no. This is the rest of the curtain rod. By the way, I don't think I mentioned the curtain rod was like $4.99 from Ali. Good stuff, cheap. Ali's good stuff, cheap. Oh, I can show you this real quick. This is the pick that I filled those ornaments with. I pulled out the greenery off, but it was one of these tree picks from Dollar Tree. $125. Alright, now two stuff that's potentially for Can y'all see that? No, y'all can't see our address. Okay. Anyway, I got this cute little bucket. I like that it has the um come on, open up the little vacuum like airtight seal thing on it. What was I saying this was for? I think I said I want to put marshmallows in here. I think that it was marshmallows. Cute. I got this mug also from Dollar Tree. It says hot cocoa served here on both sides. Super cute. 125. Last couple things I got so far are I got this bucket. It has a reindeer on it. This is also $125 from Dollar Tree. I want to say I said I was potentially going to put like candy canes in here. I feel like that's what I said. Oh, excuse me. And then this tin is also from Dollar Tree for $125. And I think I said I could put chocolates in here. But, I don't know if I will do that. I may get a smaller one for the chocolates and put the hot cocoa in this one. That would be good. Anyway, cute. Uh, and y'all can tell, you know I hate the color red. I've said this in Christmas vlogmas videos in the past. Last year for Christmas, when I was putting up our Christmas decorations, Julia was like, Mommy, where's the red? I just just laughed at me. <laughs> She's like, you gotta let it go, Tiana. So, yeah, I'm gonna make sure our address isn't showing on nothing while I'm standing in here. Um, so, long story short, I've been trying to incorporate red, which is why I bought that liner, the table, what's it called? Runner. That's at our entryway table. That was going to sit on our bar because our tree was going to be smaller because it was supposed to be six feet and it wasn't supposed to be that big and taking up that whole space. But it's okay. Anyways, this is just a short video. I really wanted to kind of try, attempt to do vlogmas again this year and show y'all what I have decorated for Christmas so far. Y'all didn't get to decorate with me because. We already decorated. Oh, and then of course I have our elf on the shelf, Charles, who I met last year. I don't have him right now. He's in Julian's room, y'all. Julian is not abiding by the don't touch Charles thing anymore. He thinks Charles is his little friend who's here to play with him. And I'm going to let him rock out. I just move him every night, you know, so he's in a different place when Julian wakes up in the morning. But right now he's in Julian's room, so I'm going to leave him there. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this little brief Look what I got, look what I got, look what I've been working with video. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>